Today marks 20 years since 13-year-old Amanda Lanky went missing. While her body was found shortly later, still no one has ever been charged with her murder. News 8's Megan Bunchman joins Amanda's family this evening for a special remembrance service in White Cloud. 20 years gone and still not a moment forgotten. Words Amanda Linky's mom tearfully said to a crowd of supporters Saturday. All of her, oh, her family, her nieces, her nephews that she never got to see, they're all here today to celebrate her. Amanda was just 13 years old back in 2004 when she disappeared from a sleepover at her friend's house in Nuego County. And she wanted to spend the night at her best friend's, which she's done hundreds of times. She just wasn't there in the morning. She was not there. Her clothes, her shoes, her money, everything was there except for her. Two weeks later, her badly beaten body discovered by mushroom hunters in the Manistee National Forest. Not only was I petrified as the days went by, because nobody heard from her, nobody seen her. I just kept getting madder and madder and madder because I couldn't get any help. And then finally, the help came and it was too late. It was too late. While no arrests were ever made related to Amanda's death, Cecil Wallace Sr. was named as the suspect in her killing years later. He was the stepfather of the friend whose house Amanda stayed at the night she went missing. The home that we thought she was safe in wasn't. It wasn't safe at all. He died by suicide before prosecutors could charge him. And while Victoria Foster would have loved to have seen justice for her daughter, her mission now to make Amanda's death matter. No child should be classified as a runaway. Even if they are a runaway, there's a problem. Nothing will ever bring Amanda back. But on Sunday in White Cloud, friends and family gathered at this park to release flowers into this stream to honor her short life, the very stream that Amanda once played it. I love my daughter. I know the man who did this is gone. I know that. He can't hurt anybody else. But there's so many more people out here just like him. And I don't want that to happen to anybody else's kid or grandkids. I'll bet it's so nice up in heaven since you arrived. In White Cloud, Megan Bunchman, News 8.